make welcome Mr. Paul Foote. Greetings. So, what I thought I'd do is uh, some humour here from the briefcase. And it's these pieces of humour here that I read off the backs of these cards. And I call them disturbances uh, because they're all things that I've thought of when I've been in, in a disturbed frame of mind. <laughs> and then what I do is, after I've thought of the disturbed thoughts, then afterwards uh, I draw a little picture on the back to cheer myself up. <laughs> so let's start with the first one. There are various levels of homophobia. The top level is when you attack someone just because they're not homophobic. <laughs> when you think about it, that is the most homophobic it's possible to be, isn't it? I mean, that is level A homophobia. It's obviously not something we th think about much, because obviously what is much more common is people punching gay people. But that is only really level B. <laughs> and indeed, those people would probably get quite angry if they were to find out they're not being as homophobic as they could be. <laughs> Fact. The deepest parts of the oceans are deeper than the tallest mountains are tall. To put it another way, if you took the Himalayan mountain range and turned it upside down into the sea, loads of sanctimonious charity climbers, <laughs> people pushing themselves to the limits of physical endurance to discover themselves, Tibetan wise men and other losers would drown. <laughs> As Lucille launched into her seventh anecdote of the evening about flower arranging, many of the dinner party guests' hearts sank. <laughs> Nevertheless, they felt it was unnecessarily harsh when, to change the subject, Sir Burlington Garter shattered her pelvis. <laughs> I think I'll go now, because that's the end. Thank you very much. <laughs>